morning. Good, Good morning. to have you. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. But first, Shannon, <laughs> that face uh, says it all. How will this play out? <laughs> I think you might need to put those Super Bowl plans that you mm. were planning on going to in Miami, you might need to put those on hold. Uh. Yeah. Skip, look, I believe Zeke will start training camp holding out. And they will tell him, we're going to take care of you, just not this year. Mm. See, Zeke understands, Skip. Two of the first three years, Zeke has led the league in rushing. Mm-hmm. But in those two years, he's also led the league in carries. If you look at the year 2017 that he missed those six games, mm-hmm. Carries per game, he led the league again. So that tells Yards per game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that tells me three of three, he would have led the league in rushing and carries. Thank you. Now, Reggie was a running back. <laughs> he knows mm. there's only so many carries you have in that body. Mm-hmm. Now they got him under contract for this year. They've already picked up the fifth year option, mm. so they got him yeah. for 2020. Uh-huh. So guess what else they got? Uh. Two franchise tags. Uh. So they can run this thing out the tw- for seven years, okay. yeah. run him in the ground. You remember how they did to Marco Murray? Mm-hmm. Run him in the ground, or we done. Mm-hmm. See, normally the rule of thumb is what I tell guys, if you're thinking about holding out, you should have thought about it a year before you actually hold out. Mm-hmm. So that way you put, like, look at mom. Mm-hmm. We ain't buying nothing. We ain't getting no, <laughs> ain't getting no ring. Right. We ain't getting no new furniture. We ain't doing no upgrades. We ain't no new cars coming in. Uh-huh. Because I got a feeling this thing going to go into the season, mm-hmm. and I'm going to have to miss some paychecks to make them know yeah. that I'm serious about this. Mm. Yeah. So, Skip, I'm on his side. Mm. But this is what he has working against him. Mm-hmm. Mm. For the last three years, commissioners had him up in his office. He's been in the principal's office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jerry knows that. Now, see, there are things that have happened in Dallas that, to the casual fan, they don't know about. Mm. But guess who know about him, Skip? Mm. Oh, Jerry. Oh. Mm. Jerry says, I know things that the commissioner doesn't even know. Mm. And I've kept it Hush, hush. Really? Yeah. Oh. So Jerry's like, Zeke, <laughs> uh. you just had to go to the commissioner's office uh. for shoving the security, a 19-year-old security guy down. Mm-hmm. And I told you, Skip, the security guy got, got more money. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you, I said, go ahead and break him off, Skip. You be done with it. Okay, but now you're saying Jerry's doing the same thing the security guy's doing. He's extorting yeah, Zeke, yeah. right? Is that what <laughs> that, 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 okay. that, that, That's what happens, Skip. Mm. So he's like, hold on. How can I give you $45 million mm-hmm. and I know you're going to act up mm-hmm. and you're going to possibly go miss some games? Mm-hmm. Skip, you give guys the money, the long-term deals that mm-hmm. you know you can count on. Mm-hmm. They're going to keep their nose clean off the field and they're going to bust their butt for you on mm-hmm. the field. Mm-hmm. So I get Zeke's point of view, Skip. Mm-hmm. He knows that they're going to use him up because he's how this offense works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Zeke. Nobody eats. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes, Skip Baylor. Mm-hmm. No, Zeke. Nobody eats. Mm-hmm. So I guess the question is, how much is that peace of mind worth, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. like you just mentioned, talking about Zeke, is the one question you always come up with is, what is he going to do next, right? What am I going to wake up in the morning and read about next with Zeke? And so the player in me sympathizes with Zeke because he is the best running back in the league that we have to offer. Um, the stats even... That? Best in the league? Yeah, the stats Reggie back Bush. that up. Yeah. Since 2016, he's, the Cowboys are 22-6. and six when he has 20-plus carries. Mm. So it's not even a question of Mm. who this offense runs through. It runs Mm. through Zeke. Mm. But the general manager side is thinking, well, his trade value is never going to be higher than it is right now, Mm. right? He's just turned 24 years old today. Mm -hmm. He's the best running back in the league. Um, But running the football would not win you a Super Bowl, Mm. right? And so even with all the stats that Zeke has has accumulated, they have nothing to show for it, Mm. right? What? Not a, they, they got bounced in the playoffs last year. Well, they won a playoff game. Right? They, they got that show. They won a playoff game. Okay. But yeah. it's a quarterback-driven league. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. And you got a good young quarterback. I got young a quarterback, quarterback, too. I got you a got good, a good young quarterback yeah. in Dak who mm-hmm. has to get paid next year. Okay. Yeah. Amari's got to get paid next year. You mm-hmm. get no, Dak, I want my money now. Mm-hmm. I can't wait till next year. I need my money now. Hmm. So... The reason this man says he's on (laughs) Zeke's side is because he is not on my side. And he knows that I am on to something because this team is really good. And it is positioned to be the team in the Mm -hmm. NFC this year because it's right on schedule to win another playoff game Mm -hmm. and then another, oh, wait a second, and wind up in, dare I say, the Super Bowl. There's only one thing that could derail this team, and that is a lengthy, bloody, nasty holdout Mm -hmm. by one Ezekiel Elliott. And he only, happy birthday, 
Yeah. Yeah. Zeke, you're only 24. Right. 24. When you'd you like to be 24 again? Ooh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. A lot of things different. Wow. A lot of things wow. different. Wow. Do a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. You had a great career. Uh. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. The point is, this is all much ado about zero, nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And again, his agent is dropping hints to the media. He might just leave the country now that camp is upon yeah. us, right? Yeah. I don't care if he goes to Tahiti or Timbuktu. You I don't know, care he where like, he, he goes. He likes Mexico. He Remember likes Mexico. He likes Mexico. <laughs> you can go to Mexico. That counts being out of the country, right? Yeah. Because you can hold out, quote unquote, all you want to of this training camp because if you go to camp, you're going to get held out of everything. Right. Mm -hmm. They won't even let you practice. Mm -hmm. Seriously, mm -hmm. he gets no practice carries, and trust me, he gets zero carries in any preseason mm -hmm. game. So all I care about is that on Sunday, September the 8th at 425 Eastern Time, right here on Fox, that <laughs> Zeke is in uniform for my Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> ready to roll and ready to do a lot of this. Uh -huh. Because you're right, when, when he eats, they eat. Yep. But the most important player on my team is still the quarterback. Mm -hmm. As you said, it's 100%. a quarterback's yep. game. He is the leader, unquestioned, of this team. He is the one you can count on, on and off the field. Yes. Is That's Zeke true. essential to this? You better believe he is essential. But Jerry Jones, I keep telling you, the one area in which he gets the highest marks is big business. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to managing cap and salaries, there's never been anybody do it better than Jerry Jones has done it. And I was there every bloody day of that Emmett Smith holdout <laughs> for the first two games. And they lost the yeah, first two games. The next day. And he is the next day. <laughs> and yet he took less than, than I thought he would have at that moment because Zeke, I mean, Emmett just missed playing football, and he knew they yeah. needed him, and he mm -hmm. he caved. Mm -hmm. He caved mm -hmm. in. And guess what? He was the regular season MVP and the Super Bowl MVP. Yep. So it worked out. Mm -hmm. It was right on time. Mm -hmm. This will all work out. But I still believe the first to get his money is going to be the quarterback, yeah. and it's going to happen before camp is over. Hey, what did he say? Did you hear what the quarterback said? Yeah. He said, I want no. Zeke to be the highest paid. No, he said, I want Zeke to be the highest paid running back. I want Amari to be the highest paid wide receiver, and I want to get what I deserve. Yep. That's probably <laughs> mathematically impossible. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. Am I right? The man said he want what he deserves. You, now, you okay. keep throwing out them stats. You helping his case. Oh, he, oh, the first three years, the highest completion percentage. Mm -hmm. He's won more games than yada, yada. He's been it. Yada, and, yada, yada. Yeah, has yeah. more game-winning drives than anybody yep, in the yep, league. Yep, yep, you, yep. So, and you want him to take less money. No, I don't. I don't. He's going to get his, and they will figure out how to pay Amari. He won't be the highest paid receiver, but he will get his money, and then they will take care of Zeke. And I do agree with your premise. They do have a tendency, philosophically, to say, we'll pay him one more time, but we can't pay him for long, long yeah. term, yeah. because yeah. they know you just don't last long mm -hmm. running the way he runs. You didn't run exactly the way Zeke. Zeke will just take on brick walls, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. man. He'll, he'll just fight through brick walls. Yeah, you and, and that sorry, and that's what's yeah. so that's what's so interesting about him as an athlete is yep. because he takes so much pounding on mm. his body and he doesn't get hurt. He does not I, I gotta, get hurt. I got to knock is, on this wood right can, now. Uh, exactly, knock on some wood, whatever you can right now, because when he just doesn't get hurt, and that's the thing to me that's so amazing because. I know how tough it is to live in those trenches, you right? Sure. How to live in those four yeah. to five yards. Oh. And I didn't run the football like he did, and I still got injured, right? <laughs> and so what you so my question is to you is, so who has the real leverage here, right? Is it the Cowboys or is it Zeke? Because they Zeke, know that bread butter with Zeke. They need him. And they and Zeke, Because we saw, guess what? We saw Zeke in 2017 when he saw up those six games. Mm -hmm. How did the Cowboys do? Now, that, that, that quarterback, Struggle. that good young quarterback they got, Struggle. ooh, he's special. Struggle. He's special. Yeah. Ooh. Did you see how he looked without old Zeke? Mm -hmm. Did you see how Jerry fought for Zeke? Yeah. yeah. On and off the field. Yeah, he did. See Jerry yeah, behind the it. scenes and in front of the cameras, how he fought mm -hmm. for he Zeke. Did. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it meant something to Zeke. And did you see that? That that's reuniting scene of them. It was on yeah. one of the documents. Yeah, he where hugged and killed. Hung. Yeah, it's pretty long and break. Okay. Hey, Rich, hey, Rich. Yeah. you got a mortgage, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did uh, we don't mortgage against? Hey, 
you're like a month behind that mortgage. Mm. But did you see that embrace that me and Sean Payton have? <laughs> they don't want to hear nothing about that. Mm. They want their money, Skip okay, Bayless. Mm. Give the man his money. Pay him. Mm. Pay him Give me his money. money. <laughs> are, we, are we doing rounders? Yes. <laughs> so go ahead and get Zeke Skip. Teddy KGB. Go yep. ahead and get Look, well, you know what he wants. Okay. He only he knows. He mm -hmm. only has so many. Skip. These 300 care seasons, mm -hmm. they add up. Yep. They and do. now you've thrown into the fact you're throwing him the ball 55, 60 yep. times a year. Yep. So now he's up around 400 touches. You only get so many of those seasons in your body. Mm -hmm. and then after a while, it's a diminishing return. He knows that. He saw, look, the guy that he replaced, DeMarco Murray. That's how they did him. Yep. They used him up, spit him out. Pittsburgh tried to do the same thing to mm -hmm. Le'Veon Bell. Mm -hmm. Okay, now no, what are we going to do? Pick up that option, mm -hmm. franchise you. He said, nah, bro, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't getting nothing out of never care out of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.